What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Oleksandr Usyk. Get this. If you guys haven't heard, Oleksandr Usyk participated in a charity basketball event in Kiev, okay? And, of course, they seen him running around. They seen him, you know, scoring points or whatnot or playing basketball, being active. And this is what this article has to say. It says, must have been fake news like the time he posted with a rifle. Alexander Usyk gets criticized for participating in a charity basketball game after the heavyweight win over Anthony Joshua. Of course, we know that he was spotted participating in a charity basketball game, as I just mentioned, <clears throat> fresh from a successful heavyweight title uh, win over Anthony Joshua. And then Usyk said that he wouldn't return to the ring this year while a potential undisputed clash against Tyson Fury was already in the works. Usyk cleared his intentions of fighting next year. Akin to the first clash against Joshua, the Ukrainian went 12 rounds in a rematch. Although Alexander Usyk won the contest, he fell short against Anthony Joshua in a few rounds. Usyk then called out Tyson Fury, but claimed that he had suffered injuries at the hands of AJ and will take a hiatus from boxing until 2023. Meanwhile, Michael Benson posted a picture of Usyk performing a charity basketball game a few hours ago. The post grabbed mixed reactions with several people demeaning the champion's boxing plans. Hmm. Okay. Um, examples. Um, at China Vimum and Michael Benson, he said he wanted to recover because he had injuries, but here he is running around bas playing basketball. If you're injured, does that mean you can't play sports, right? <laughs> Carl Frotch, <clears throat> parody. So I don't know if that's really Carl Frotch. At Michael Benson, he's injured, is he? Proof he is ducking Tyson Fury. Ooh, here's Z3, double BZ. At Michael Benson, I thought he injured his hand. Oh, wow. Michael Benson at Lakers. Send Russ for Usyk. <laughs> uh, Rob Seeds. Um, some fake injuries, some fake depression, some fake who they really are. Seems there's hardly any genuine boxers anymore. And last without least, because I'm going to stop there. At Michael Benson, totally ducking fury. Thought he thought he was injured. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Jim Mallon at Michael Benson, war torn Ukraine. And those are some of the uh, criticizing tweets from different people all over the world. And let me counterpunch um, some good points. I mean, if Alexander Usyk is injured then why the hell is he running around? But most importantly, uh, it depends on what his injuries are. We don't know what they are, you know? So we have to put that out there because we don't know what's wrong with him. But then obviously, whatever was wrong with him, he didn't want to take a fight with Tyson Fury on the 17th or whenever in December to fight Tyson Fury after calling Tyson Fury out. Um, but then you see him playing basketball, you can see the contradiction because, you know, you can play basketball, but you can't fight. You know, um, I think if he was injured, I, I think that he shouldn't be playing basketball because if he was injured, that could like add insult to the injury that he already has. So, you know, we got to keep it real. Um, but he wouldn't have to worry about competing against uh, something that important you know, playing charity ba basketball. We don't know the extent of how he was playing. Was he doing jailhouse tactics? What is this NBA? What is this like some type of smaller league? Because the, you know, what I could see, they had jerseys on, but I don't, you know, I don't know if, you know, if it was, you know, it's charity. So charity is somewhat like an exhibition, right? So exhibitions are not fought like true hardcore uh, um, boxing matches are. Right. Or, you know, or sports, you know, say this is more like preseason. This is not, you know, uh, <clears throat> this is not the finals. 
okay? This is not a season game or whatever. So it's charity. But I do understand. I do get it. Um, also, him calling out Tyson, it did make you feel that he was ready, like, in a few months to take on Tyson Fury, you know? But to be fair, we didn't know if Tyson Fury... Actually, the time he made those statements, we didn't know that he was coming back to the sport. We figured he was, but we really didn't know because it's Tyson Fury's show. Bars. Tyson Fury is the guy that dictates what he wants to do when he wants to do it. Whatever his mind tells him to do that particular day, that's what he's going to obey. Bars. So, uh, you know, we could go with that. But, you know, you could also speculate because we're looking at all angles here, you know, we're not just one sided in defense versus prosecution. What we're doing is we're looking at, OK, maybe Alexander Usyk thought Tyson Fury was going to retire or stay retired. That's why he said it, because, you know, a lot of people would say that depends on what side you're on, people. Um, The first thing I thought of, though, and that's why I decided to uh, mention this. Uh, the last one that I read, Jim Mallon at Michael Benson, war torn Ukraine, you know, and the first thing I thought when he was playing basketball, I, I thought this was a while back, but this is now I looked at the haircut. I'm like, okay, that looks recent. And I seen that he was, you know, this is recent. So I'm like, okay, well, how, <clears throat> how war torn is it? You know, very good question, because that's the first thing that popped in my mind. Like, well, damn. I thought they're going, I thought they're at war over there. Why would you even have a charity event over there now? You know what I mean? Especially in a public place where that's a target for people to bomb. You got to think about it. The unified heavyweight world champion is in that facility. You know, so you got to ask yourself like, well, what part of that is secured? You know, are they winning the war? I don't know. So that's a very good question. And you know, more and more, uh, Questions are going to arise about Alexander Usyk now. Why? Because he gave them that. You know, it depends on his injuries, which we don't know what they are. And he wanted to play a little ball. He wanted to have a little leisure time. Leisure time does equate family time and other things. His family could have been there. Those are one of the things he said he was going to do. I get that. But at the end of the day, you also leave yourself open to criticize, being criticized simply because you said you were injured. So when anybody sees you doing physical activity and on top of injury, therefore, that's why your reasoning is not to fight. People are going, that's going to raise some eyebrows. That's going to cause people to scratch some heads. Definitely. Okay. And you let, I can't wait to Tyson Fury hears this shit because Tyson Fury is going to take this and run a marathon with it. Why? Because he could, he can, he should. Bars. <laughs> Right. Because it's like you you don't do anything like physical. OK, that's a good way to get counterpunched. All right. And my counterpunch to Alexander Usyk, regardless of what he was doing and how fast or how hard he was playing this game, he shouldn't have been doing any of it if he didn't want it wanted to be criticized or questioned. Counterpunch, you know, that's simple. You know, that's no different to me than Andy Ruiz saying, I don't want Luis Ortiz. I had knee surgery. And then you see him the very next week after the surgery doing squats. Like, really? Come on. Now, is it that bad? It could be. You could look at it in the same light. It's definitely in the same ballpark. You know what I mean? Because it's like, okay, well, you know. You said you were injured. If you were injured, you shouldn't be doing anything physical unless you want to be injured criticized. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Alexander Usyk busted, <laughs> being criticized for playing basketball at a charity event in a war-torn country in Ukraine while he claims that he's injured. Tell me your thoughts. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunching. Peace!